Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Ndegwa from CIMIT. I want to talk about how we applied or used a tricot approach to evaluate some uh, genotypes or uh, hybrids, maize hybrids coming from a technology we call seed production technology for Africa. That's SPTA and that we did last year in 2023. So we set up a large uh, on-farm trial uh, and that's something yeah, interesting to us uh, compared to where we've come from, where we've been doing the traditional participatory evaluation to evaluate new uh, or pre-release hybrids. So here we selected 1,380 farmers, each uh, getting three hybrids or three genotypes to evaluate in three different plots, A, B, and C. And that's a total of 4,140 plots that we did set out there. And we had in total 40 genotypes or hybrids, inclusive of 34 pre-release uh, genotypes, and uh, six uh, commercial checks. Those are varieties which are already been planted by farmers. And these we did in four locations uh, and, uh, and mega environments. That was four different counties and also four different mega environments. As already mentioned, that was done uh, last year. Uh, so, and I want to talk about the major benefits that personally, and we've realized here that we draw from this approach, the tricot approach. And this is mostly compared to what we've been doing in the past, where we would do participatory variety evaluation. You go to a village or a, 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 a location, Get one farmer who sets maybe 20 or so uh, plots, different varieties or different lines. And then you mobilize neighbors, maybe mid season and end season to come and then give uh, feedback or to come and you know, use some evaluation tools to evaluate those varieties. So that's where we come from. And now with trail parks, there are some of the major, uh, I mean, with the uh, uh, tricot approach, of some of the major benefits that uh, that accrues include that you know personally I've realized we have increased objectivity in the evaluation of technologies. So as I said in the past, you'd invite farmers to come and evaluate who have not had an interaction with uh, those technologies. But here you have a farmer who grows three different uh, varieties or genotypes, which we label plot A, plot B, and plot C. They are blinded; they don't know which genotype they are they are they are they are, they are planting. And then now they'll grow that, they'll plant themselves and they will interact with them throughout the season. And then at different times of the season, different types of times or uh, stages or periods of the season, then they will, you know, we will engage them and then they'll be able to evaluate uh, what they are hosting. And the evaluation mostly is on, on ranking, the best plot the sec and the last, the second best and the last uh, uh, or the least performing plot based on a host of traits that we use for, for evaluation. And so the farmer now who is engaged to evaluate is the same farmer who, was in, who has been engaged to set up and to take care and to look after and interact with these uh, uh, hybrids throughout the season. And so even from the experience that I had when we had visiting the field, they talk out of experience and you can tell the evaluation they give it's very objective. So that's one of the major benefits that I think um, Cruise when it comes to use of uh, tricots to evaluate uh, hybrids. So the next one is uh, they are real farmer managed trials. So and that means uh, as the researchers and other neighbors who might want to learn from these trials, they are getting a true signal. So here we with 1,380 farmers, there is no way we'll go you no know, managing all those plots. And so we then we give them this trial the, 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 the packs the trial packs. For them to go set up. The only thing during the distribution of seed, you'll explain to them how to set up plot A, plot B, plot uh, plot A, B, and C in a way that you know they, they they are separate and they are visible to themselves especially. And so from there, you know, we even encourage them treat these uh, these trial sites or trial plots just the way you treat the rest of your of your maize fields. And so it's real farmer managed trials. And I think that's an interesting thing for all of us because uh, we get to get true signal, real signal of the performance of the technologies that we are evaluating. Then also uh, enhanced diversity in farm, in climate regions, 
uh, and regions of evaluation. And I think I'll, 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 I'll explain a bit of, about this in a, in a minute or so. Uh, but this allows us you know, to uh, evaluate all the technology that we have in very diverse setups. And that includes you know, different farms, uh, or different farm typologies and different household types in different climates. You know, like with this, you're able to go to scale and get many farmers. And now you have a chance of you know, randomly selecting these farmers and villages from different uh, climatic uh, uh, zones or agricultural uh, AZs. And also in terms of regions, now you can spread them as much as you want. And so there's some enhanced diversity in the areas and farms where we evaluate this. I think also allows for simultaneous evaluation of many genotypes. So and in our case, we have a large number of trials with small sized uh, trials. And so we have this you know, huge uh, setup in the field, but it's composed or made up of many small sized trials where the farmer is able to objectively you know, give their views and their evaluation of, of, of what's happening. So at the same time, you're able to you know, evaluate as many technologies that, 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 that you have. Maybe there could be a limit because of other things like budgets and um, logistics, but you're able to, to evaluate a host of a host of um, technologies at the same time or simultaneously. We observe informed and relatable outcomes from participating farmers and may not be able to share these in details, but we can um, talk uh, one on one. Yeah, but uh, from the data that we find, when you try to correlate uh, some of the variables or some of the outcomes, you will see that the farmers are actually giving very uh, informed. Uh, uh, the, the evaluation of the technologies that they were they were hosting, and, and so um, I'd like to briefly share some interesting highlights from from what uh, we 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 did last year. And to start with, and I just talked about this, it's the the, the diversity of the distribution, you know, and this uh, graph is telling us uh, the distribution distribution by counties and also distribution by uh, agro. Uh, ecologies or, or mega environments. And, and I think, um, in, you know, you, you can look at this, the, the trials, the designs were uh, within, most of the time we've been designing these, you know, at counties level or geographical region level. But this one was designed uh, at mega environments level. And so you can have mega environment, uh, one mega environment, which is, you know, in different counties. And that's what this graph is telling us that like, uh, for example, the dry mid altitude, we have two counties, that's Embu uh, and Kerenyaga. But when you come to wet upper uh, mid altitude, actually all the four counties uh, are, are represented there. And so this, this we found interesting and being able to randomly select villages and, uh, and, uh, and, and farms or households, you know, from different mega environments, uh, and then see how that has spread across uh, regional uh, divides. So that that that's interesting. So the next uh, thing we find also interesting is that half of the plots are managed by women, and 15% were jointly managed. And I think that that also tells us how important women are, especially when it comes to evaluation of technologies. These are the uh, half of our trials. Uh, trial plots were being set up by women and being looked after by women, being managed by women. And even, you know, most of, of the evaluation, of course, you are trying to do, uh, to interview both male and female to give their views, but you could tell, you know, women are the ones who are, uh, in most cases, women are the ones who are taking care of this. And so that tells how uh, important women, I believe also uh, to a good extent, men are when it comes to evaluation of of technology, especially using such a uh, such a tool. Uh, the, the other one is, and as I mentioned, this was real on farm, farmer managed trials, and we asked them a number of questions when we went to do some follow ups uh, towards the end of the season, and some these questions were helping us then to see how different they treated uh, the trial plots. Uh, how 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 they treated them differently from the the rest of their maize plots, and when you look at the first one, we ask them it's a question of uh, seed rate, seeds per hill, same for trial plots and other maize fields. Eighty-two percent they actually said 
you know, the, in terms of seeds per hill, we pushed the same or we planted all of uh, the same uh, uh, in both our uh, maize fields and the trial plots. Then the next question we're asking them is hill spacing. They know the space from one hill or from one hole to, uh, to the other. 91% say it, they were actually treating them the same. So the only maybe difference that we see here, it's on the next uh, question, which is on, on intercropping. So 27% uh, say that they did intercrop the trial plots, but 57%, close to 60%, say they were intercropping their, uh, their other uh, fields, maize fields. And that, that's where we see a little bit of, of, of a difference. And that's to say they seem to intercrop less uh, in the trial plots, but intercropping more in the rest of their maize fields. And then when we ask them the use of inorganic fertilizers, and that shows that the, the chemical fertilizers, 77% said they used fertilizer for both. And that, that, that's interesting to know. First of all, that 77% you know, are using fertilizer, but also they're not diff treating the trial plots differently. That's what we're saying then, the, the signal we pick then will be a true signal. And then lastly, we also asked them whether they used manure, that's farm manure, and 46%. So whoever was applying manure in their other fields, they were also applying manure in their in their in their in their trial plot. And so 46% towards 50%, uh, they were using manure on on on, on both. So um, as moving forward, I personally think Tricot would be a great tool to answer whether uh, whether new is better question. I think that question, particularly when it comes to maize hybrids. And particularly for this region where we have a, a very well established seed systems for maize and also a lot of farmers i think we, we see it like a national uh, average would be around 75 percent of farmers are growing uh, hybrids or certified seeds but the question is maybe them sticking with the <clears throat> with the old varieties eh? so this question new is better uh, it's a very important question i think using tricot it would be a an interesting tool to be able to uh, to to test that, uh, and, and as I said, particularly for this region where uh, seed systems for maize seed or maize hybrid is well established. And with that, I thank you. I appreciate you for for your time. Okay.